Hello everybody. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I am Joyce from my craft room. Um, thanks to everybody at Expo again for hosting us. I have some fun new things to show you from Creative Expressions. Um, some very cool new dies. Um, and we'll get to that in just a second. But before I forget, um, let me just switch cameras real quick. Or not real quick. There we go. Okay. We do have a show special. 15% off your order. Includes everything except uh, laminators and kits. Um, you just put the code EXPO15. E-X-P-O-1-5. EXPO15. In the coupon box on my website. Which is my craft room. Dot com and you'll save 15% off your order orders over $50 to US addresses ship free so let me show you these cool new dies now these first four are called floral panels these were designed by Sue Wilson for creative expressions and basically they are just shy of five and a half, I'd say five and th mm, three eighths. Um, sorry, um, <laughs> just shy of five and a half. Um, and they are actually five pieces in each set. They look like this. So you have an utter, an utter, an outer cutting border for each one. And then the interior part, that is the floral panel. Um, they also all come with one extra little goodie. In this case, if you can see, there is a tiny little side view of a butterfly right there that's a separate die. Anyway, um, you can use the die with the, the outer cutting border to cut the piece into a freestanding panel or you can just use the interior to cut this design into your card panel and I'm going to show you some examples but first I just wanted to kind of um, walk through the the basics they are approximately two and a quarter inches wide and like I say just a hair under five and a half and you'll see that on these cards I'm going to show you this is a card that I made with that first set. Now this is out of gold mirror cards, so it's not as interesting in this light as usual. Um, but it's made out of gold foiled cardstock, has a little vellum panel, and I cut the one floral panel, which is this one right here. I cut it twice with the outer border die, so you get if you can see, you get a freestanding panel. And then I cut the second die in the set, same way with the freestanding panel, but I just put it on the inside of the card. So that shows you they're about mm, an eighth shy of five and a half. So they would definitely fit on your A2 cards, but they'll also fit on Slim lines, mini slim lines, uh, A6s, A7s, whatever you want to make. This is the second one. Oh, sorry. This one is called Flowering Dogwood. Flowering Dogwood. And this one is called Daisy. So in this case, you have a little dragonfly. You've got the three daisies with some leaves. And you have this neat little, very delicate, kind of a background panel. And I made, where's my daisies? Here we go. I made this card as a mini slimline using the daisies. Now what's fun about these is you can do any kind of a background. You know, you've probably got a pile of backgrounds uh, 
swatches in your stash somewhere that you've done and just didn't quite know what to do with them, well, you can cut them out. You can use the border outline to cut the panel to the perfect size. Um, in this case, I just did a wash with my all to new watercolors. And let me get those over here to show you. First of all, and it's probably going to be really hard to see, but there is embossing on the background here. It's from a relatively new, well, I can't even get it to show. Um, embossing folder, 3D embossing folder called Stripes, also from Creative Expressions. And as you can see, it just creates that nice striped background in your cardstock. So I used that on this card. I used my original 36 pan uh, watercolor set from Altenu. I just used three shades of purple, a little paintbrush, there we go. Those three shades of pinks, I should say. And um, there we go. And um, just did a wash on a panel of watercolor paper. But then I took the um, Bubblegum Luster Polish. And if you haven't seen this before, it is a creamy consistency. It has an applicator in the lid that looks like this. It's a sponge. Now it's pretty soft, so I don't always use it depending on the application. But here is the paste. And you can see how shiny and creamy it is, I hope. In this case, I just put some on my finger and rubbed it right in the center of each of the daisies, just like that. And then, even though I started out with a white, messy card front, card base, I took the same polish before I mounted these two layers, of course, and just ran it around the edges to match the color. And then I added some little Studio Katya uh, round droplets and I was all set. And again, that's a mini slim line, so you can see how nicely these fit on there. For the other design on this die, I again cut it twice. I just cut it out of white cardstock and mounted it on, sorry if you can hear my dog barking, um, green uh, mirror sparkle paper, which is like a, a lightweight glitter paper. Then I just used an oval die. This one is Tootie's um, stitched ovals and cut out um, an oval to mount my sentiment on. And then I used the little dragonfly from the set, which again is right here, and um, cut that out of turquoise glitter paper. And there you go. Now, this one is called Cosmos. This is one of my favorites. I just love that design. But it has three little flowers on this panel and these kind of budding um, florals on the other side. In this case, there is a little, a little butterfly right there that comes with the set. Now for the flowers, for this design, I cut the whole image out of a green cardstock, and then I cut it again out of pink. And I just kind of curled up the edges of the flowers and laid them over the green. I'm trying to hold this up close enough. Um, cut it again out of gold and use that for the centers. Put little gems in the centers of the gold. Cut the butterfly uh, three times. Um, three times out of pink and three times out of the green. Stacked them on top of each other. Put a little gem in the center of those. And put them on the front of the card with a little 
Hello Die, which is from the uh, Creative Expressions mini expressions series. There's one called Hi and Hello, and that's what this one was made with. Now for the other design, which is this one right here, I decided to do a full slim line. So I cut it without the border die this time. So I just cut it right into my panel, as you can see here. I hope, out of a white cardstock, and then backed the cardstock with a panel that I uh, color blended with some Catherine Pooler inks. And then I splattered it with some gold metallic uh, watercolor paint and laid the die cut piece on top of it. And if you're interested, I used Catherine Pooler's new Serenade. And an older color called Stone Blue. And an even older color called Sugared Lavender. And just blended the three of them together. Attached the um, panel behind my um, die cut piece and then I decided I needed a little something else so I took some of my leftover uh, panel that I had color blended and cut cut this panel out um, again out of the colored cardstock then I just clipped the blooms away from the rest of the die cut and attached them on the front of the card and where there is an edge to the florals, I place them on the edge of the card. I just love that design. I know it's an older design. It's not like uh, we've never seen this particular flower before, but I love that one. Okay. Next, we have Peony. Floral Panels Peony. We have this nice ivy vine, and then we have two peony blooms on the other die. And the little extra on this one is a little bee. So first I did them, I cut them out of uh, toner paper, and I foiled them both, get this up here so maybe you can see the foiling, um, with uh, deco foil watercolor emerald foil it's very pretty foil it's greens and blues and golds and in this case I cut it with the border mounted it on my card front and in this case I just cut the whole die right out of my card front and backed it with a piece of toner paper that was foiled I keep trying to twist it and turn it so you can see but the point is there are so many things that you can do with these dies whether you're creating a, a pretty background or or coloring the foreground this time I wanted to take advantage of the fact that um, this particular set has some nice kind of broader areas where you can put some uh, foam adhesive to pop up the images so again, kind of hard to see. Obviously, you can see where I popped up the two peonies on this side. But I did actually pop up the whole panel of the ivy. Okay, so, so those are the floral panels. Now I wanted to show you one other thing real quick. They also came out with these new dies that were designed by Jamie Rogers. These are his canvas collection. And what they are is a series, sorry, a series of shapes that can be cut. Maybe if I show you the sample first, it'll make more sense. Um, into a, a very real 3D image. And I have it upside down for you. Okay. Here is 
the first sample I made. So if you can see, they create like a, a box. I mean, there are, there's the top and the sides that are all part of the die. So it makes for a very cool effect. And if you're worried about them crushing in the mail, I just put a couple layers of foam tape in there and they hold up fine. So this is one that I did with this particular die set. This is called um, a panel. It's a very obviously narrow um, rectangle. And then there is the hexagon. That looks like that. And this is the sample that I did with the hexagons. I just took some alcohol inks created a background on some glossy cardstock and um, and then die cut it and I'll show you the dies in just a second but a, a word to the wise in one of those you know do as I say not as I do things I started doing this with UPO paper don't use UPO paper if you're going to try to score it like this because there's a lot of scoring involved um, there are also a couple of extra dies in each one so that you can create a frame, which is what I did here. Whoop, I just came unglued. All right, let me show you how the die actually cuts. This is the, pa the panel die. So you can see you've got the cutting line on the outside and um, scoring lines as well as the cutting, um, the cutting line on the outside and the scoring lines on the inside. So when you cut this, you get this shape. So all you need to do is fold it back, you know, score it with your bone folder. And there are little tabs right there that you're going to fold inside and I'm doing this without my bone folder so forgive me so you're just going to do some scoring and then you can use a double stick tape or glue what I did was I just put a little glue to hold the tab press that in and then I run a line of glue on the outside of the score line. So when I fold, oh, I did the, of course I had to do the side that I hadn't scored yet. <laughs> so when I fold this in, the tab will stick, and then this piece folds down. And you get a nice squared off corner. So these look like canvases, not just a raised up uh, layer on your card front. So this is the hexagon. Then we have the diamond shape. We have the octagon, and they're all, you know, sized differently. This is the rectangle. This is obviously very much like the panel I, I just showed you, but larger. And the square. Okay, so they're a lot of fun. I wish I could show you samples for all of them, but I don't have time. Um, but they're all going to be uh, linked below so you can find them easily. They are very easy to assemble. I think you should give them a try. Um, I guess that's it. So don't forget, Expo 15 is the code at mycraftroom.com. It's good for two weeks, which I believe is July 3rd. 15% um, off your order. 
everything but kits and laminators. So have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me and I hopefully will see you soon. Bye-bye.